The Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers PPST should be used as a basis for all learning and development programs for teachers to ensure that teachers are properly equipped to effectively implement the K-12 program. It can also be used for the selection and promotion of teachers. All performance appraisal for teachers shall be based on the set of standards. So, ang Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers ay dapat po gamitin bilang patayan para sa lahat ng mga programa sa pag-aaral pagpapaunlad para sa mga guro upang matiyak na ang mga guro ay may wastong kagamitan upang mabisang ipatupad ang Gildrol Program. Maaaring itong gamitin para sa pagpili at pagsulong ng mga guro. Ang lahat ng pagtaas na nagaganap para sa mga guro ay dapat na batay sa hain ng mga pamantayang ito. Police Department Order or Deped No. 42, Section 2017 ang Deped Order No. 42, Section 2017, ang pamban ay sinasag po ang pambansang pagpapatibay at pagpapatupad ng Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers. Ang kautosang po ito ay nilagdaan noong August 11, 2017 ni Deped Secretary Leonor Briones. What is the Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers? Ang PPSD ay isang pampublikong pahayag kung ano ang kailangang malaman, pahalagaan at magagawa ng mga guro sa kanilang pagsasanay. Mayroon po itong apat na yugto ng karera. Beginning proficient, highly proficient, and distinguished. Ito ay binuo sa National Competency-Based Teacher Standards at binubuo ito ng 7 domain and 37 trends at 37 indicators for each career stage. What are uses of the Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers? Sa DO No. 42, Section 2017, ang PPST ay gagamitin bilang batayan para sa lahat ng mga programa sa pag-aaral at pagpapaunlad para sa mga guro upang matigyak na ang mga guro ay may sapat na kagamitan upang mabisang ipatupad ang K-12 program. Ang mga pagtatasa ng pagganap ng guro ay dapat ding ihanay sa PPSD. Dagdag pa, ang PPSD ay maaari din gamitin para sa pagpili at promosyon ng mga guro. Why was the Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers developed? Ang PPSD ay binuo pagkatapos ng malaking konsultasyon sa mga pangunahing stakeholder particular na ang mataas na opisyal ng kagawar ng edukasyon. Binigyan diin ng malawak na konsultasyon ang muling pag-iisip ng National Competency-Based Teacher Standards dahil sa mga pagbabagong dulot ng iba't ibang pambansa at pandaigdigang palangkas tulad ng Kiswell Reform at ASEAN Integration. Gayun din ang globalisasyon at pagbabago ng katangian ng ika-21 mga mag-aaral ng siglo. Those Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers Replaced NCBTS? Yes po, nangyari ito sa paglagda sa patakaran ng Deped Order No. 42, Section 2017 sa natin ang adoption and implementation of the Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers. Why do we need the Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers? Kailangan ng PPSTs sa buong mundo. Ang kalidad ng guro ay pinabahayag sa mga pamantayan ng guro. Ang PPSD ay isang balangkas para sa kalidad ng guro at pagpapaunlad ng guro. Sa iba pa, ang Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers ay maaaring gamitin sa Una, pag-iendorso namang programa para sa paunang edukasyon ng guro. Pangalawa, pagpaparistro at pagka-accredit ng mga guro. Pangatlo, pagtataas ng mga kalidad ng professional na pag-aaral. Pangapat, pagtukoy at pagkilala sa hawarang kasanayan sa mataas na antas. Panglima, pagbuo ng pamantayan para sa pamumuno. Pang-anim, pagtatag ng pare-parehong proseso ng pagsuri, pagtatasa na naugnay sa bawat higto ng karera na napapanalitin sa integridad ng PPSD. At pang-pito, pagpapanatili ng isang mahusay na proseso ng dokumentasyon na nauugnay sa pagkamit ng mga lagapaghiwatik sa mga higto ng karera. Why focus on teacher quality? Ayon sa mga ebidensya ay madinaw na nagpapakita na ang mahusay na guro ay mahalaga sa pagtataas ng tagumpay na mag-aaral. Ibig sabihin, ang kalidad ng pag-aaral ay nakasalalay sa kalidad ng pagtuturo. Kaya naman ang papahusay ng kalidad ng guro ay nagiging pinakmalaga para sa pangmatagalan at pagpapanatili ng pagbuo ng bansa. How was the PPST developed? Nabuo ang PPST noong inaprabahan ng kagawaran ng edukasyon sa pamamagitan ng Joint Advisory Board na pinamamunuan ng kalihim ng edukasyon. Ang pagbuo at pagpapatunay ng mga pamantayan ng pag-unlad ng guro na binubuo ng mga natatangay yugto ng karera. Ito ay pinangunahan ng Philippine National Research Center for Teacher Quality na nakabasi sa Philippine Normal University ang Research Development Work na may support na mula sa CMERR National Research Center sa Australia. Ang mga DepEd Regional Directors, Bureau Directors at mga piling guro ay nagtapos ng PPSD sa isang workshop na inorganisa ng Teacher Education Council na supportado ng Basic Education Sector Transformation Program. 
Were key stakeholders involved in the process of development and the validation of PPSD? Well, mahigit 10,000 pre at in-service na guro, punong guro, supervisor, tep at regional directors at iba pang tagapagturo sa lahat ng rehiyon sa bansa ang kasangkot sa pagbuo at pagpapatunay ng PPSD sa loob ng tatlong taon. Ang mga ahensya ng gobyerno, maliban sa DepEd halimbawa, Professional Regulation Commission, Commission on Higher Education, Civil Service Commission, gayon din ang mga non-government organization. Example, Philippine Business for Education Foundation for Upgrading the Standard of the Education ay bahagi ng reference panel. Who funded development of the PPSD? Direkto ng PPSD ay pinunduhan ng Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Pinapasuportahan ng DFAD ang research center para sa kalidad ng guro. What are some important features of the Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers? Nakukuha ng PSD ang mga kinakailangan sa kalidad ng guro sa K-12. Kabilang sa iba pa nang nagbibigay ito ng focus sa una, katutubong wika upang mapadali ang pagtuturo at pagkaluto o mother tongue. Pangalawa, mga mag-aaral sa mahirap na kalagayan. Pangatlo, mga estratehiya para sa pagtatagulid ng literacy at numeracy. Pangapat, positibong paggamit ng ICT. At panglima, mga estratehiya sa komunikasyon sa silid aralan. Ang PPSD ay may domain na tinatawag na Content Knowledge and Pedagogy. Ito ang ubod ng K-12 program at nagpapadala ng mensahe sa mga guro na para maiturong, may turing silang mga delikalidad na guro. Dapat alam nila kung ano ang tuturo at kung paano ito ituturo. Bukod sa iba pa. Are there tools based on Philippine Interpersonal Standard for Teachers that may be used for teacher assessment? Oo, gumawa ang RCTQ ng mga tools sa pagtatasa ng guro sa bakikipagtulungan sa DepEd Bureau of Human Resource and Organization Development na may support na mula sa BEST program kasama sa mga tool na ito ang Self-Assessment Tools, Classroom Observation Tools, at mga tool para sa mga guro na nakabatay sa resulta ng performance management system. Ang mga tool na ito ay mahigpit na napatunayan. Can we cop our own PPSD-based tools? Oo, pero kailangan mong tiyakin na ang mga kasangkapan ay nakabatay sa PPSD. Gaya na nakasaad sa DepEd Order No. 42, Section 2017. Kailangan mo rin tandaan na ang mga tool na gawa sa lokal ay malamang na hindi mapatunayan na maaari magtanong sa pagiging maasahan at kredibilidad ng kanilang mga resulta. Can the Philippine to Personal Standard for Teachers be used as a rubric to assess teachers' performance? Ang PPSD ay hindi isang rubric at hindi isang kasangkapan upang masuri ang pagganap ng mga guro. Gayunpaman, maaari itong gamitin bilang isang balangkas kung saan maaaring ibase ang mga tool sa suporta ng guro tulad ng mga tool sa pagtatasa sa sarili, mga tool sa pagmamasid, sa salid aralan at mga tools sa RPMS. Will teachers be assessed on all indicators? What if a school, for example, has no learners for indigenous groups? Hindi. Ang mga guru ay hindi kailangan tasahin sa mga tagapagpahiwatig na hindi naangkop sa kanilang mga konstekto ng paaralan. Sa mga tuntunin ng mga guru bago ang serbisyo, kayintaman ang teacher education institution ay inaasa ang sanayin sila sa lahat ng indicator para ihanda sila sa paghawak ng iba't ibang konstekto ng pagtuturo. Will PPSD assessment tools be used for the hiring and promotion of teachers? Ang mga patakaran hingin sa mga bagay na ito ay gagawin pa lamang. Carlos Stage Teachers' professions develop and happens in continuing from beginning to exploratory practice. Through on the principle of lifelong learning, to set a professional standard for teachers recognize the significance of a standard framework that articulates development progression as teachers develop, refine their practice, and respond to the CompTIA's education reform. Courage stage have four stages. First is courage stage one, beginning teachers. Next is courage stage 2, proficient teachers. Next is courage stage 3, highly proficient teachers. And the last is courage stage 4, distinguished teachers. Beginning teachers gain the qualification recognized for entry into the teaching profession. They have a strong understanding 
to the subject areas in which they are trained in terms of content knowledge and pedagogy. They emphasize the recent knowledge, skills, and values that support the teaching and learning process. They manage learning programs and have strategies that promote learning based on the learning needs of their students. They seek advice from experienced colleagues to consolidate their teaching practice. Proficient teachers. They are professional independents in the application of skills vital to the teaching and learning process. They provide focused teaching programs that meet curriculum and assessment requirements. They display skills in planning, implementing, and managing learning program. They actively engage in collaborate learning with the professional community and other stakeholders of mutual growth and advancement. They are reflective practitioners who continually consider the knowledge, skills, and practice of career stage 1 teacher. High proficiency teachers. They constantly display a high level of performance in their teaching practice. They manifest an in-depth and sophisticated understanding of the teaching and learning process. They have high education, focus, situation, cognition, more adept in problem solving and optimize opportunities gained from experience. They work collaboratively with college and provide them support and mentoring to enhance their learning and practice. They constantly seek to develop their professional knowledge and practice by reflecting on their own needs and those of their colleagues and students. Distinguished teachers, they embody the highest standard for teaching grounded in global best practice. They exhibit exceptional capacity to improve their own teaching practice and that of others. They are recognized and leaders in education, collaboration to profession and in nature and collaboration and partnership. They create lifelong impact in lives of college students and others. They constantly seek professional advancement and re relevance in pursuit of teaching quite quietly and excellence. They exhibit commitment to inspire the education com com community and stakeholders for the improvement of education provision in, Pilip in the Philippines. Good day everyone. So my topic is seven domain. I will discuss to you the seven domains. So let's start it. <clears throat> seven domain. So Domain 1, Content Knowledge and Pedagogy. Domain 2, Learning Environment. Domain 3, Diversity of Learners. Domain 4, Curriculum and Planning. Domain 5, Assessment and Reporting. Domain 6, Community Linkage and Professional Engagement. Domain 7, prof prof Personal Growth and Professional Development. Domain 1. Domain 1, Content Knowledge and Pedagogy is composed of the following seven strands. <clears throat> so let's... Uh, let's discuss the seven strand of domain one. One is content knowledge, and it is it is application within a cross curriculum areas. Two, research based knowledge and principle of teaching and learning. Three, positive use of ICT. Four, strategies for promoting literacy and numeracy. Five, strategy for developing critical and creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills. 6. Mother Tongue, Filipino and in English and Learning 7. Classroom Communication Strategy And number 2, Domain 2 is Learning Environment consists of the following 6 strands So let's, let's discuss the 6 strand. 1. is Learning Safety and Security 2. Fear Learning Environment 3. Management of Classroom Structure and Activities 4. Support for Learner Fatigue Participations. Five promote offer positive learning. Six is management of learner learner behavior. 
domain 3 diversity of learnings consists of the following five strands so uh, the domain 3 have a five strands let's discuss the five strands of domain 3 one is learning learners gender learners genders need strength interests and experiences two is learn learners linguistic culture society economic and religious background three learners and disabilities giftedness and talents four learners and difficult circumstances five learners learners from indigenous groups domain four curriculum and planning includes the following five strands so let's discuss the five strands of domain four one is planning and management of teaching and learn learner learning process two learning outcomes allied with learning competencies three relevance and responsiveness of learning progress programs four professional collaborations to enrich teaching practice and the last one is teaching and learning resources including ICT. Domain 5 assessment and reporting is composed of the following five strands. Let's discuss the five strands of domain 5. One, design selections, organizations, and utilizations of assessment strategies. Two, monitoring and evaluation of learning, learners' progress and achievement. Three, feedback to improve learning for communications of learning needs, progress, and achievement to key stakeholders. Five, use of assessment data enhance teaching, learning practice, practices, and programs. And domain six, community linkage and professional engagements consist of the following four strands. Okay, let's discuss the four strands of domain six. One is establishment of learning environments that are responsive to community context. To engagement of parent and the wider school community in the educative process. Three, professional ethics. Four, school policies and procedures. And the last one, domain seven, personal growth and professional development contains of the following five strands. So let's discuss the five strands of domain seven. One is philosophy of teaching. Two, the dignity of teaching as a professional. I mean, profession. Three, professional links links with colleagues for professional reflection and learning to improve practice five professional development goals that's all thank you